Let me see. What's, what's up with the what's up, big baby? Let me start what it look like. What's up, homie? How you doing? Man, same old same, man. Just taking it easy. You know it's a slow grind. Yeah, man. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad that uh we can have you on, on our platform, man. Me and me and Gotti. Right, right. I appreciate you having me, man. I apologize for the delay, too. When I saw the joint, I was like, man, he requests me. I ain't been, been granting too many interviews with everybody. So everybody that was sliding up on me, I was like, damn. But when I seen the joint, I was like, I'm going to show some love, man. What's up? I appreciate it, man. Let's get straight to it, though. How you doing, though, right now, man? Everything's a grind, man. You know, we're just coming off that, 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 that tour. We left that alone. So it's like me getting back on my ground, uh, on my solo acts, you know what I'm saying? Because I had companies and stuff I was working with, and then... You know, putting that to the side for a minute and things I wanted to grind on. I'm just trying to gear myself up and try to figure out where my head's at right now. And the public asking for a lot of me right now. So I'm just like, they want the music. And, uh, you know, I'm like, uh, I'm like, hold them up. So I've been just throwing them little situations from time to time. Okay. Yep. Okay. So what tour you was on? Stay probably. Uh, stay probably. Yeah, stay probably do their thing. So I definitely went out there with stay probably. I can't, I can't deny it. So the shout out to Johnny the Great and Live Nation. But we can't say a stay property tour. Without Oskino, though, man. We need Oskino. Well, oh, yeah, but listen, we got a problem. The problem with Oskino is uh, Oskino just screams out about a lot of stuff about the group. And I got to keep it all way fucking funky with that, about this situation with him. Me and O.F. was like a partnership we had, you know what I'm saying? And I'm quite sure everybody knew by my other interview that I grant Dior down here in the city. And uh, he just spoke out about a squad that don't make sense. You don't go against brotherhood. You understand where I come from? Right. It's like your brother, and he, he act up. So I just give O his space. Okay, yeah, because he, he said, I, I interviewed him a few months ago. He said he brought you to the uh, to the rock. I, I don't listen to the stories. I don't listen to what he's saying, the bloggers and all that kind of shit, because it's for what? O skin on his part, he never brought nobody to the Rockefeller. It was Seagull up there first, and it was a group. So it's like a it's like ninety it's like it's like trying to tell the world ninety nine different stories, right? And everybody got their side of the story. Owen Sparks' name, if you understand Owen Sparks, Owen, Owen Sparks' brand is me staying out here and O had situations. So while O had situations, I had to cover business. So I covered business grounds, and that's what I'm on. Mm. It seemed like you was more like, like, like you was more taking care of the business because you was in the movies, you was in a lot of other stuff too, other than um, without Spark. I mean, without O'Milly. I mean, without uh, Oskino. Yeah, it's like it's a situation where we had to be. We had to be growing, grown men in business. We had to grow in business. You know what I'm saying? And in business, you got to grow. You can't stay the same. And it's going to never be the same mindset. You're going to grow. So I got to carry the name. That's like carry on tradition. And that's a headache sometimes. So, so it's like everybody. I'm sorry. Hello? Listen. Yeah. I, I just want to everybody. I want to make sure that the live is good because you're going in and out. Okay. Everybody oh, hear us? Yeah. yeah, so that's what's up. Let us know if everybody can hear us. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I hear you right now. Yeah. So, yeah. so Last basically, the relationship with Oskino in the state prop is where that stem from? Is it is it jealousy or like where it stem from? I don't know. They was in business with him first. I came on board afterwards, so I can't tell you exactly what it's about. Okay, oh. I just know he didn't bring really you to the rock. No, we went. We got signed together. Oh, so signed both of us. Okay. So who signed you when you got to the Rock? Who signed you, Dane? Jay Z. Oh, oh, Jay signed you. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Now I understand because yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't know who, who signed what. Cause I know Dane was a part of it, Biggs, and I didn't know who signed what. Jay, it was a. We came from, we came from a, 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 a different situation. But Jay signed me and Oskino as a group. It was nobody brought nobody. He wanted us collectively, not just one person. I ended up having to be on my own. I had to go and bust moves. I had to go do movies, do singles to keep the name alive. Okay. What, what I don't understand, because I was a big fan of State Prop. I used to live in Philly. I'm from the Bronx. I, I used to live in Philly. Right. I used to live in uh, Frankfurt, Logan, all that over there. And I, honest, I never understood why we couldn't get an album from you. Cause I'm like, yo, that dude dope. Right, right. Well, well. at first, you couldn't get an album from me if my name was tied to somebody else. And then, so I went underground. And I did I did mixtapes. But I can't do business with somebody if my name attached to that. 
So what I did with business was I started doing my own situation when I created Beckman. It was like whatever happened, we just had to part ways on business. Somebody went their own way, and I had to go my own way. It was nothing bad blood. It was just if you, it's, I can't deal with business like that. I can't be an asset and a liability at the same time. It's impossible. I didn't try. I, any any real nigga out there understand exactly where I come from. All right, we going to jail. We keep going to jail. We losing a lot of money. We losing the money. So I got to use different terminologies for different people. So it's like, all right, look, this is what I got to do. This is what I got to do. But I also know I can't be a liability to my my own self anymore either. Right. I gotta be an ass. We all know that's not. It's not. It's not lucrative. So it, it's safe to say that like Oskino kind of like crippled you in a sense. Well, I, I don't want to say it's crippled because it's like it's, it's like it's like it's like having a, it's like a partner. If you had a partnership and, you, and your partner not around, and he and it, say if you got a partner, you, he has the laptop. You lose something. You can't get the laptop no more. You ain't got the laptop, so you can't get into the laptop to get what you're looking for. So now you lose, you lose the, uh, the other half. So it's like the other part. If you ain't got the other half, you ain't got the other piece to the puzzle. So now it's unfortunate, but you got to move on, and that's all it be. Okay, okay. So is it safe to say we're gonna get another state prop album? That's no problem. Yeah, I think I think if you if you checking out the rest of the gang, man, and, and, and check it out, it's growth and maturity. They all out, they all busting their moves. I'm still independent. I'm an independent act. So anybody that calls something from me, as long as we talking right, I'm a team player. I ain't with that by myself, uh, all by myself shit. I ain't with that. Yeah. So you think Oskino will be a board of, of, of making it making it complete for the fans? Like stay prop? I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure what he's gonna do. I don't talk to him. I haven't talked to Oskino in literally years. I'm telling you, late years. The people will hear from us right now, but I ain't talked to him. I don't talk to him. Okay. All right. That's the reality. All right. But how is your relationship with the other members of State Prop? Like I said, we just went on the road. And it, some, it started off a little rocky, then we smoothed it out because that's just what business is. It's, it's like it's like one of those situations where, hey man, we gotta we gotta bury it. We gotta bury we gotta bury the bullshit in order for anybody to get ahead. If anybody deal with anything that's understanding that's greater than them, then that's what we gotta do. We can't sit around and act like. We keep pointing the fingers and pushing blame on everybody. It's about can we come together collectively and do something for everybody? Right. It's about moving on and, and, and growing. Right. It ain't being stagnant. It's like a mindset. If you stay there, that's where you at. Right. That's 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 a fact. But um, is it true with like Jay Z? I know. Well, I know as a fact Jay Z took this song. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? If you look into the joints now, look, I was just pissed about some things today, right? I was pissed the fuck off. I was like, hey, this, this, that, and third. But if you look into the tabloids and you check it out, he gave me my credit to this to this day. I finally got a credit for credited for giving it to me. Uh, and I was like, damn, I appreciate it because if you think about it, at the end of the day, when you was young, you go, you when you're young, we fucking a lot of money up. We fuck a lot of millions up. You know what I'm saying? When you're a young guy. So when you grow up and somebody give you time to grow and then you get your final credit, you probably start to understand and appreciate what they're saying, but you pissed in the beginning. So I'm just glad that I ain't put too much jacked up shit in the universe. Yeah, but I'm saying if I was in your shoes, I, I probably would have did the same thing too. That's Jay-Z. Right. That's the big homie. And, you know. Right. You got to go. Right. Like you got to pass it on. I get it. But how many other songs right. Jay-Z took? Because Os me talking to Oskino seemed like he took – more than that one song. Now he got me for that in the beginning, and then uh, of course Hove, he was Hove, so you can't really strip on him. But when we was in them studios, we going at it how we supposed to go. That anybody know that chain of command? It was a situation where okay, this guy rose like this, and we under the umbrella, so we gotta spaz out. And anything we're doing it for, we can't let too much happen. So we can't. It's a situation where okay, we spaz, and of course we hearing that, but. Still sharp and still, so it, it, it'd be a heavy lot of the crown with some people, and everybody ran with a different situation. And then my my my, my standpoint, I was in there. I was on a tight tight time. Like, all right, look, I don't care who's running point. My whole thing was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my thing because at the end of the day, we got we got we got it's gotta be productive. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then it goes on, and then we get to someplace else, and now we're here. But see, that's what I got like from your energy. Like, I don't know you. Um, I'm definitely a fan of State Prop, but it seemed like you always, from the up interviews and, and following State Prop, it seemed like you always was a team player. Like, you was down for the team. Like, you don't back. I never really hear you backbite nobody. Like, you tell the no, truth. I, 
right? Because if we folks, right, it's something that we handle amongst each other. We don't, we don't handle that outside anything else, unless that's just how you, certain people just want to do business. I don't do business like everybody else. I don't do business like that. My whole thing is if I knew you and I got this time span, I'm going to deal with you, the encounters with you. If we encounter and we wasn't all right, then that's that. But in your heart, you're going to know, damn, that was my brother. So if you was out of pocket, you got to deal with that, not me. So I don't go around blurting my emotions. I got folks for that. You see what I'm saying? Right. So getting a little personal, getting down deep, just a little personal. When you signed that first deal with Rockefeller, was the contract right? Like, how, how big was the check? They, they oh, no, it was, listen. So it was our first. It was our first half a joint, a half a million. So, but 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 what happens with the company? They fold. It's like it's like a it's like a responsibility given to somebody first, right? And then somebody else takes the responsibility back from them because it's like, hey guys, what did you do in position? But everybody's growing on business, but so so artists always get the, the, the you know the lash of it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the, the CEOs are doing what they're doing. The artists are just pushing for the corporation, the company. We don't really. Bugging with them because we're looking at these guys because, all right, guys, y'all got a great responsibility coming from the top. So now our job is to make sure money's coming in. It's like hustling. We grinding. You know what I'm saying? Right. We grinding. So the money got to keep coming in the way it's supposed to come in. I can't bug, but when it happened, it's like, ah, that was abrupt. But it gives you a breather because you you you, you growing from a boy to a man anyway. And it's things that you want to get back to. You want to get done on, on the way back. So you're like, all right, it's cool. Was there any, like, jealousy when, when the state prop came and and Memphis Bleak was in the picture. Like, did, was it any like, j like any kind of like beef or jealousy between Miff Bleak and and the state proud people from Philly? Because y'all was.